international players, more Europeans. As a result, there's less spots, not only in the draft, but in the league for American players to get into the NBA. So you've got to do your work before you get to that level in terms of the drill work, refining your game, understanding team concept. It's a it's a global game now. It's no longer, longer just our game. Yeah, no longer just runners and jumpers around the rim. I was very impressed with what uh, Kevin Boyle did with his yellow squad on that possession. Here they are with the lead with about a minute to go, and they back that thing out, trust it in the hands of Derrick Rose, a guard that can handle that basketball in traffic, close out a late game situation, heading to Memphis, converts with the free throw stripe as well. It's a really good job by the team in yellow. I like the fact Rose doesn't force either. We talked about Austin Freeman not forcing the action, but Rose doesn't either. These are guys that average over 30 points, 25 points a game, but they made the adjustment here tonight playing with better players. Coming up immediately following us right here on ESPN2. Stay tuned. We will have Sports Center coming your way, recapping the entire day in sports. Under a minute to play. The yellow team with the basketball and a seven-point lead. Corey Fisher working against Jared Bayless. Gets in the paint, no, 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 no. skips out of bounds, looking for Rose. Bad decision right there by Corey Fisher, who's really a high IQ player. But you've got a lead, everything's in your favor. Time, score, momentum always determines what your shot selection should be. And he tried to force one that time when there was no reason to. Boy, tough to go with the one-handed passes. We've seen an example of both teams now going with one-handed passes that led to turnovers on two consecutive possessions. Late in the game, want to be solid like a halfback, hit the hole, wrap it up with two hands, protect the ball. Got enough points, to pull that thing out. Marcus Haynes here, leading the road trotters. Fisher, <laughs> off to Villanova next year, showing his entire skill set that time down the floor. Apparently Patterson gets the two back. Well, why wouldn't you want to play Villanova for Jay Wright when you've seen Mike Nardi and Foy and Ray, other outstanding guards, come through their program. They space the floor. He puts the ball in his guards' hands to make plays for themselves and their teammates. Let's take a look at some of the past MVPs in this great game. They always choose one from each side. First game ever played when the, it was called the Jordan Van All-American Classic. Sean May and Amari Stoudemire. Following year, how about LeBron James and Shannon Brown now teammates? with the Cleveland Cavaliers. What happened in 04? That's Claude Rains, the Invisible Man. <laughs> <laughs> Dwight Howard just, he was the best player on both teams that night, I guess. Played the first half for one team, the second half for another, I guess. We're so talking quick. about, he was blinding, couldn't see him. Talking about uh, Corey Fisher going to Villanova. You mentioned uh, Mike Nardi. But think about this, Corey Fisher heading to Villanova out of St. Patrick's Elizabeth, New Jersey High School, could very well step in and take the place of Mike Nardi, who also went to St. Patrick's Elizabeth, New Jersey High School. Back-to-back -back point guards coming out of the state of New Jersey for Jay Wright. Well, a pipeline there in the Northeast. Jay Wright, one of the outstanding recruiters, a motivator, a solid technician. Uh, on the sidelines as well and really connects with kids has done a good job of building relationships with the high school coaches in the northeast got a foul you have no other chance but the foul right now wasted six or seven seconds did the blue team all right guys let's uh, start thinking big picture here in terms of mvp candidates this go around well i know what jimmy dykes is going on <laughs> yeah, you like chris wright the kid going to georgetown I, I really do. I mean, for, for the blue team tonight, I think he's the reason why they're going to win this ball game. Not only is it scoring from the point position, but when he was on the floor, I think he controlled the basketball game off of the bounce. He delivered a ton of assists in this ball game, and his toughest defensively, I think, also is something we, we maybe didn't talk enough about. I'm voting for Chris Wright for the blue team for the MVP. I'm okay, such well, a good guy, I'm going to go along with you. I'm such a team player. I agree. You convinced me. You're like Johnny Cochran, F. Lee Bailey. So dang convincing. Exhibit A, Exhibit B. Well, show me stat sheets here. Team. Team. You got the guys in the truck on your side. It's a conspiracy. No, he's an outstanding player with a bright future. I'm with you. Okay. The game's leading scorer does indeed play for the blue team, though, and that's Dante Green. He's going to get some votes. Well, there's no doubt about it. He's been a factor at both ends of the court. He's going to take the Syracuse program to another level next year. I don't think we'll see Syracuse out of the NCAA tournament again during his run no, with the agree. Orange. Especially with Jim Beheim still on the warpath about not getting in this year. He will be after him from now on. Now that'll just about do it ahead of the pack. No problem. Jeff Robinson finishes this game with an exclamation point. Nick Calathes, no, but Patrick Patterson, probably the final two of the game. That's what he does. Crash tips. What we thought right before the half, too. Gordon in and out. Guys, in and out.
show, quick thoughts of what we just saw. I think both teams played really, really hard, which I think speaks volumes about their character and what they'll carry over next year to the college campus. I love the fact these kids played relaxed and poised. They were cohesive and well-knit under the bright lights in the garden. Sometimes kids get a little bit selfish in all-star game situations. I thought both teams shared the sugar. Sure hope you enjoyed it, everyone. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. And so far, so good. For the 20 that played today, New York City was not too big of a stage for them. Everyone played well and showed off their skill sets. Our final score from Madison Square Garden, the yellow team, they win 127 to 119. Coming up next, we'll have Sports Center coming your way. For my partner, Steve Lavin, Jimmy Dykes, and Heather Cox, I'm Eric Collins saying so long for the 2007.